I don't really hang out with anybody, obviously. Okay, here's my friends John and his. I was dating with myself earlier. You guys are married. Yeah. Okay. This is his wife, Nick. Like Nick and I, or Nick? Yes. I know you need a couple of customers, so I brought you. Oh, Chai Mark. He says I talk too much. That's not true, right? Good morning everybody, Chuck here in beautiful Udon Thani, Thailand. Gonna go for a little bit of a walk this morning. Get some exercise now that the sun's out. Had a good evening last night, just kind of walked around a little bit. And then headed back to the room, watched some comedy <laughs> YouTube videos and, and crashed out. That bed was amazingly comfortable here at the Centara here at the uh, Central Mall. I'm going to meet a subscriber and his wife or girlfriend, I'm not sure. I think it's his wife for lunch today. Somewhere, probably in the mall because it's too hot uh, in the afternoon to try to go eat outside somewhere. Of course, you can sit by a fan, but why when you got an air condition? I don't know, it's up to them, whatever they want. So just gonna kind of roam around today the mall is closed right now or I would be walking through the mall instead of walking in traffic but um because it's still early Hang on, let me get out of this garage Paige and the group were having uh, a big dinner last night sometimes I like to like not eat big dinners sometimes I don't want to eat hardly anything but um you know it's family style so to be sitting at the table trying to pick at food i don't know i just feel like it's kind of rude even though they do it i try to tell my mother-in-law where i come from you have to finish what's on your plate so stop putting food on my plate <laughs> i'm not the i'm not starving i'm actually full i was full before i sat down so sometimes i want to get away and just try to not eat so much you know I know my problems right here's some scenery they have a big market here yeah, I'm sure it'll probably probably be here by the time I'm maybe it's here for like Songkran or something it doesn't look like they're in a hurry to probably take that down um, in the next couple of days I'm here four or five nights I already spent one night here and yeah, I don't really have any plans, guys. I'm going to just show you maybe some of the same stuff. I don't know. You know, always, sometimes they're kind of the same in Thailand. Festivals, markets, they all tend to be, kind of have the same stuff anyway. So I try to, you know, always go without expectations. And usually we see some funny stuff or something I possibly have never seen before. Of course, they have Chang here. They had a band here. It was pretty quiet in the hotel. I'm kind of backed up to... There's like discotheque back there. And I heard it a little bit. But I crashed. Like, I don't even know what time. I don't even know. I think I got like 12 hours of sleep. I was so tired. Snowy slurpy. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure we'll see something exciting. Maybe go down and look at some some foodie stuff down at the UK market. I'm sure we're gonna do that. And I just like this area. The Udon's pretty big. I just like this area, you know, because um, there's a lot of people around. There's stuff to do, food. Um, you know, I don't avoid people, um, but I do come here to meet people. Kevin and Pookie are here. I told them I would meet them sometime here. And the main reason, what's going on here? Am I not allowed to go down there? Is I wanted to go, you know, visit with my friend Jim and play golf. So that was the main thing. He's got a housewarming party to go to today, him and his wife, Mel. So we'll try to hit up some golf tomorrow. 
I knew you guys were excited about seeing golf, right? It's about as much exciting as seeing me play pool, I'm sure. Okay, I'm gonna walk around the block, stop talking. That didn't last. <laughs> I'm in a competition with Paige on our watches, uh, I guess via the internet, so I can see how much she has walked and she can see how much I've walked and where I've been. So we are trying to compete with each other to see who can walk the most. I think I beat her pretty, pretty bad last night. So I'm sure she'll try to make it up today. Fried bananas. I tried to, uh, I got a new 12 camera right now. And in the truck, I have a road mic that I have connected to an eight, a GoPro eight. I have two GoPro eights. That's the one on my, two of them on my dash are eights. Anyway, there's an adapter for a microphone that you have to purchase on the GoPro in order for the microphone to work. So the, the little adapter has to fit in a slot on the case because these are just some GoPro prop sound issues I'm having. I'm going to explain them to you. So the, the adapter has to fit in the case because you can't have it just dangling around. Hang on a second. And um, then the microphone plugs into that. Well, I don't know why but sometimes it doesn't sync up the wireless mic to the camera. And then I'm just talking into a camera that has a big housing on it and you can barely hear it. It's annoying to have to edit out content in my videos of something that I said and I wanted to put in the video. So anyway, I have a shitload of microphones. Um, I have I have wired mics, uh, wireless mics, all kinds of stuff. And I just, it, it ends up being like I have to do a shitload of things in order to just talk into a camera. And it's not what I want to do. Like, I don't want to make a production because I do videos every day. If I was going to make a production like two or three a week, then maybe I'll do something to that effect. But, um... I need to step up the pace. Anyway, I, I got this, I have a 10 and a 12, and I've never tried the microphone. Here, here's the biggest problem, is the reason why it doesn't work is because the GoPro has a quick start. You just push a button on the top of the camera, and then boom, you have, you can talk instantly. But if you turn the button on the side, which is kind of a pain in the ass to push, it's the power on button then most likely the microphone will sync up every time but then you have to turn it off you know it's <laughs> I'm, I'm a lazy vlogger i guess uh, and when you're driving you're trying to do all this stuff it's difficult so there you go but anyway i'm going to try the 10 and 12. first i'm going to try this 12. I, I, I have a case coming I meant to have the case earlier, but I ordered the wrong one. I didn't select the 10, 12, and I got another 8, 9. Like, okay, and I can't send it back, but it was no, it was cheap. So I ordered a new one locally, and then the local shop ordered it from China. So yeah, I'm waiting on my Chinese housing to put my microphone adapter so I can have my wireless Rode mic and talk to you where you guys can hear me more clearly. I really like the ambient sounds, but sometimes this particular camera has a smart microphone in it and it keys into sounds. That's why it doesn't work good in the vehicle because there's too much muffling in the background noise. So when there's traffic, like in Bangkok, it keys into the traffic more so than my voice sometimes 
and is annoying. So the only problem with the GoPro is you just can't plug the mic into it. You gotta have an adapter and then all this other stuff. And um, I don't feel like using my phone. I could. But um, here, let me turn the camera around, sorry. Those are just some problems that I have vlogging trying you know try to make good content and then sometimes i'm like shit why don't i even say anything about it and you can't even hear me yeah and this housing that i got coming is a mini housing i don't want this thing to be so bulky that i can't put it in my pocket you know this thing, I just kind of pull it out of my pocket, push a button, and point and talk, and that's it. I'm done. All I want to do is I want to edit. And I guess if I had a camera crew following me around, we could get a lot of funny stuff. talk to the ladies that watch this channel um, I know you, they probably toned me out by now because I say I talk too much but I want to talk to you guys about like me coming to Udon by myself and uh, hear me out for just a moment because I, I think it's important to know and this is going to be a kind of a Genuine genualization of uh, I think everybody here in the audience. Maybe not all, of course. Me coming to Udon is very important for me to get away. Sometimes I don't want to sit in the house with everybody or go sit in my room on the computer and watch videos or whatever on the computer. I want to get out and it's kind of hot. And anyway, we need our personal time, I think. The biggest problem is, is that when you retire, you find yourself trying to figure out stuff to do. I'm always busy. I, I always have something to do for the most part. When I'm bored, I got to go do something. I got to get out of the house. I got to go somewhere. Um, I can't sit around and be bored. But when we work, we always have places to go. And we're, you know, we're alone away from our spouse and family. And it's, it's not really me time, but it's, it's away from the same people all the time, time. And even maybe just coming back from work is a, um, is a time that we have, uh, only time we have by ourselves. I've talked to quite a few people in there, and the guys say, oh, my wife would never let me go out on my own um, she's jealous and I think okay if if, he, if your man's gonna cheat on you he's gonna cheat no matter what he doesn't have to have his free time out he'll figure out a way and cheat on you uh, there's no doubt about that and the more you don't trust him or take his free time away is probably gonna make things sour um, for the most part, we just need to have some time to ourselves. Men don't think too much. Like, we don't want to really do too much. Maybe we just want to sit there and watch TV by ourselves or go to a football game or just do whatever. I like to play pool. That's one of the reasons why I come to Udon is so I can play pool. And, you know, I play golf not that well. I just like to go exercise in the camaraderie and you know, try my best not to lose <laughs> lose the golf ball that's about it that's my only really goal you know but I have to have my free time I have to go ride my bike get away for a couple of days if I can't have that flexibility it's going to be a problem um, I just want to let you know basically what I'm trying to say in a short sentence is give your man some free space trust him if you if he's gonna cheat on you he's gonna cheat on you anyway and I think for the most part if men want to go be with another woman 
we just go, you know? And then when you try to accuse us of, of doing something or think of something that we're not doing, you know, it's, it's not good. It's not good for the relationship. And of course, I would love that if my wife could go out with her friends. She used to do that a lot in America, but she just doesn't have those kind of friends here that she can do that with. I'd go fishing and she'd go on, um, on cruises all the time with her friends. She really liked that. And I was definitely happy to see her go do that. Because she needs that, you know? I kind of lost. Let me look at my phone. Sometimes I only come outside here in Udon just to show you guys some video because I love Udon and I like to show Udon. Other than that, I'd probably just sit in my room all day sometimes and do nothing. Just be alone, peace and quiet. I don't have to, it's not that I don't, and me and Paige, we enjoy traveling together. We have a great time when we're together at home. You know, we just kind of do our own thing. Paige says I talk too much. That's not true, right? Okay, I am back here at the Centaura right over here. Oh, here's a shady spot. This was the disco last night. Wasn't too bad. I don't know. I, did, I slept through it. I looked out the window about 8 or 9 o'clock and it was happening out there. I probably wouldn't go in there. I know some people that don't care, but it's mostly like teenage, not teenager, but young Thai people. It's not that that's a problem. I just don't, it's not for me. I don't really hang out with young people anyway. I don't really hang out with anybody, obviously. People don't usually last with me. I, I get, I, got, I like to hang out with people every now and then and do stuff, but sometimes it's like, now yeah, I kind of need a break. Like I'm tired of the same old thing over and over again. So maybe I don't make a good friend. I, I don't know what to say about that. You know, I'm just kind of happy with myself. And Paige doesn't really complain too much or have a lot of needs or wants. So it's just easy for me just to spend my time with her I do like Daz. Daz is kind of very quiet when he doesn't want he doesn't like he don't like malls, you know. And you know, sometimes I like to go look around, get out of the heat. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna chill back in the room. And I don't have to feel like, oh well, I need to entertain you or something, you know. It's just it's not like that with Daz. Daz is just there for the ride. Just like me and Paige. God, it is like a microwave out here. It's supposed to not be like a microwave Sunday. Maybe like a back to an air fryer. It's okay. People are going to love cold water this year for Songkran. Let's go freshen up and then meet our subscriber. I don't know if he wants to be on the camera or not. A lot of times I don't put people, I mean, I don't just come rushing up. Hey, can I interview you? You know, um, just not really my style. But sometimes if people are interesting, I'll put them on camera. No offense if I didn't put you on camera. I just was enjoying the conversation most likely. To get kind of a better idea of what I'm talking about, this is it right here. This is the eight. This right here is a little housing. Um, the housing and then this is the adapter that plugs in and then the microphone plugs into it and then this is your wireless receiver and then that's it it should work perfect but sometimes it just doesn't connect so the camera the this camera is a little bit bigger than the eight and it won't fit in this this housing so that's what i got coming as a housing like that that'll hold this little thing right here
I always put that on because I don't want people coming in there. I got my computer stuff all out there. I just get water and towels when I see them outside. So, so what do you hop? Anyway, let's go downstairs and meet our subscriber. He's standing in front of Starbucks, him and his wife, girlfriend, person of interest. <laughs> I like these because you have to put your key. Because sometimes like in the middle of the night, there's a bunch of random people coming into the hotel and it gets kind of loud. And I like this because there's carpet, so it's quiet. Unless there's some YouTuber outside with a camera. I try not to be disrespectful. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go to the market and try to find me a couple of grown-up size Songkran shirts. I've, uh, the ones I have have shrank for some reason. <laughs> and I need to find some bigger ones. There's a dog. I don't think this place is pet friendly, but maybe, I'm not, maybe she owns the place. I don't know. Okay, here's my friends John and his... I was debating with myself earlier if you guys were married or not. We are. Okay, this is his wife, Nit. Nit. Like Nit Noy or Nit? Yes, yeah. Okay. Nit. Nit. Well, she's still Nit Noy. I have a friend and uh, let's go walk. Okay. Well, real quick, do you like, you, you like Thai food or... A, I know you like Thai food. Yeah. You, you, you want some pizza? Anything. We can walk in the heat if you want to. I don't mind. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Good good eye. Did you have any of that pizza at that restaurant that I recommend? No, but that sounded okay, good. Let's yeah. go do that. We'll go for a walk. Okay. I have a friend in Tapanom. Her name is Nitnoy. Oh, oh really? Nitnoy. But she's no longer Nitnoy. She's Juan <laughs> Mak. Oh, <laughs> big. Wouldn't like me. No, big. <laughs> Bigger. So, uh, I tell you what, we can go walk through the mall. It might okay. be easier. Okay. But um, anyway, you know, Thai families they like to name their kid yeah you know, kind of a nickname right yeah Chantillion. so i have a thai friend his name is hamnoi <laughs> what that mean it means like small down below <laughs> so when he was a kid yeah. you know he was yeah. his parents called him hamnoi so you know, so they all call him hamnoi <laughs> a lot of thai have a pet name yeah, they have a nickname. That's what I'm saying. That's, yeah. that's like Pookie. Pookie is not yeah, her name. Right. Paige so. is her name, right? And no, her name. Or Yawret? Yeah, you know what? Well, Paige is uh, her American name that she chose okay. in America. So. Yeah. But anyway, let's go have some pizza and uh, yes. enjoy the air condition straight through. And I'll tell you a little bit about John and Nick. How are you, my friend? Hi, Hi. please meet you. Hey, man, Britt. I'm Hi. John. So, what you got? I know you need a couple of customers, so I brought them. Oh, <laughs> Chai D <-Mark. laughs> You have a... Uh, yeah. Hot long, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pizza if, here is really good. If you like good. the bed condition. Oh, you want to sit inside? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> What's it, VIP? <laughs> so John is... Uh, he's in a pretty... Like a hot topic place in America. <laughs> Fulton County. Oh, and Folsom. Folsom County, I'm yes. sorry. So you, you uh, you're work at the penitentiary in Folsom County. Yes, right? Folsom State Prison. And you're going to retire soon, you said, right? 18 months. 18 months. How long have you been there? Uh, going on 16 years. Oh, ah, so. That's, that's I also retired uh, military, too. So. Oh. Yes. In the Army or? No, Air Force. Air Force, oh. You're a smart guy then. <laughs> well, I was in the Marines for six years. Oh, and then okay. the light bulb clicked. Yeah, I got to get out of this place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And your lovely bride has lived in America with you for quite some time. Oh, right? no. She's only been uh, three months stretches. Three months? Yeah. yeah, three months stretches. Yeah. You know, like every other year. So. Do you want to come back here or do you want to stay in America? I like Thailand. You like Thailand? Yeah. yeah. And I do too. I love Thailand. Yeah. I just went to America for three weeks and I just going into the airport. It's like, oh my God, I got to get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to live a quiet, peaceful life. Yeah. You know, with my but I have, have to go visit the kids every now and then. You yeah. Know? Texas? Yeah. Everywhere. California, yeah. Texas. Oh, yeah. Um, weren't they at, uh, my daughter lives in Vacaville. Yeah. 
Travis Air Force Base. Yeah, yeah I, I was. Uh, you should know where Vacaville is. It's close yeah. to Sacramento. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's right off Highway 80 yeah. and 80. Yeah. Well, if you want to come to the mall, come Friday through uh, Monday because it's busy, really busy Saturday and Sunday here. Well, that was nice meeting them for lunch. Nice people. Now it's uh, time for a nap. But that's the only bad thing about coming is people want to give me food and beer <laughs> when I come here. I know, poor me. Shut the hell up, Chuck. We care about your problems. That well, looks like a pumpkin there. Well, I'm going to go for a little bit of a walk. I took a long nap. I was going to get in the pool. I don't exactly know where the pool is in here. I've been here before in the pool, but it's a long time ago. Anyway, let's go for a walk. It's a lot of traffic, people leaving the mall. It's still hot. I sent a message to Jim about playing golf maybe Monday. And Tuesday might be better. It's supposed to start to not be so in blister, so blistering hot. So they say after tomorrow. But it's up to him. I didn't really. We'd have to get there really early in the morning. A lot of expats live here. My new friend, Nit, that I just met, John's wife, she told me that there was 50,000, over 50,000 registered Falang that live here in Udon. I thought, wow, that is a lot. I think there's quite a bit that live in the Kompanom too. They're just, they don't have things like this in the Kompanom. They kind of spread out. But I thought, wow, that is, that's a lot of damn phenomenon there. Which just means that they have a lot of, a lot of stuff for foreigners. I don't know. I love this town. I don't want to live here. I'm only good here for about four or five days and I'm ready to go anyway. But that's just me. Ran into another subscriber here. Luckily got the duck out soon. I'm trying to hit my 10,000 steps. I'm almost there. I'm still not really super hungry. Maybe just a light dinner. I had about three pieces of pizza and two garlic bread. So I'm, I'm good for the night with my carbs, you know? And I had one half of a beer. Irish clock. This, uh, the eight hotel is a pretty good hotel, but they got kind of a little pricey. Panerai is always a good place, too. Both have very comfortable beds. It is six o'clock now, so things are starting to happen. This place was busy. I walked by at a couple of, I think they had a party or something uh, yesterday. So, like a birthday party or something, but it was packed. I have a couple of friends that own that own uh, bars in there. One of them's from Singapore. And uh, really, really super nice guy. But they just had a kid, so he's rarely there now. Anyway, walk it. Okay, well, I was going to go back to the room, uh, go to the market in front of the hotel, and get some food. So, I like to stop and promote many places. Now, I came here last night because I wanted to play pool, and everywhere is just so many people, and I don't want to be around a lot of people. And this is where I met um, 
Eddie, I can't remember his name, sorry. Uh, but I met him here. He came here for the same reason because there wasn't so many people. So anyway, the ladies here said, where are you going? I said, I'm going to go eat. And they're like, what are you going to eat? I'm like, well, I'm looking for some good Isan food. I said, well, I'll go buy it for you. So here I am and I'm eating. I bought a dinner for everybody. You can meet the girl. Say hello. And... And I played pool with her last night, played pool very good, very good. So if you guys want to play pool, come here. This is the Red Lion Bar. And uh, yeah, awesome little place. All right guys, gonna end the night. Look, there's a Ferrari, pretty cool. Ferrari, Cancun Mai. Motosai. Motosai. Anyway, guys, thank you uh, for watching the video today. If you liked it, don't forget to uh, click the like. We'll see you tomorrow on the next video. And Udon, bye.